target by eye and uh, was not able to get the binoculars on it in time, but at least we did sight the comet. Uh, the setup has gone very smoothly and uh, we'll be putting the telescope on the window in just a couple of minutes here. There's a lot of earth shine. This mission, can you, can you give us a brief synopsis of, of the duties you have over the next few days? Bet, and uh, I'd actually like to start out with our flight day one, and you're right, this is an extremely packed mission, probably more so than most, just with all the scientific experiments we have on board. So we had a very aggressive flight day one, in which we have a satellite called Christa Spas, but uh, essentially it's a telescope that we deployed on flight day one, which takes a certain amount of maneuvering and preparations to go ahead and, and deploy it. We use a robotic arm to hook up to it, pull it up out of the payload bay, release it, and then we fire some jets to maneuver the orbiter away from it. The, uh, that just started everything off. We've got plenty of other experiments. I, uh, this morning, recently fired up a combustion experiment. We do combustion experiments in space because up here, unlike on Earth, we don't have convection. Uh, lighter gases don't rise. So on Earth, when a lot of gas rises, this holds oxygen into the flame, feeds the fire, and helps it travel and burn. You don't have that up here, so flames burn differently. Uh, they tend to burn themselves out more rapidly, but they also tend to burn harder because that oxygen is not there to cool the flame or take the heat away from the surface.